Humans never cease to amaze me. Hey guys, welcome to Frame Chasers. This is this is gonna be another uh humans are dumb rant videos. It's it's just out of bounds. It's getting so out of bounds right now. This is like another one of those emergency record sessions. So the things that are blowing up right now, uh, between like the whole Igor's lab power delivery thing, the Zotac engineer coming out saying they gimped their models on purpose, Jay's two cents talking about the capacitors on the back of the card, and and, uh, and just like the general chip binning of how the Founders Edition, like Nvidia, kept all like the good bins for themselves, and oh man, it's. I'm I I'm losing IQ by the minute here how how stupid this whole and all these people are. It's crazy. Let's let's just start from the, let's start with the the Zotac thing and the engineer saying they limited the power by design. Wh when was this like news? Like they've been doing this every generation for god knows how many generations. If you buy the base at least at least in this generation they didn't change the actual actual silicon um model number so that you couldn't actually flash a different bios later just wait just wait and wait for a bios like any like yeah when how is this any news where if you buy the base model you get gimped components that can't clock as high you bought the base model that's what you signed up for like like i like what do you like there's too much whining about this first of all second of all with the whole SMD compa capacitor thing, Jay made a good point where the box says 1700 megahertz or whatever. That's what you're guaranteed to get. If it's boosting to 1980 and it's crashing on you, you can either RMA the card, which you're not going to do because you don't want to wait for another one. You can whine on Reddit about it, which is what most people I guess are doing. And all that's going to do is get you a firmware update that clocks it lower. Or, take matters into your own hands and fix it with Afterburner. Just, just, just lower it by 15 megahertz. What's the big deal? Like, Jesus. It's like, it's the whole thing with, um, like the rise of the Zen 2 launch. And then, like, people are like, it's not boosting to 4.7. I'm getting 4.695 for a mill... Dude, does it work? Yeah, but it's it's not hitting the advert. Dude, what's that five megahertz gonna get you? But I'm going to complain on Reddit about it. I feel like a lot of these hardware enthusiasts really aren't meant to be here and like or like be a hardware. Like, go buy a PlayStation, bro. Like, go buy an Xbox. You don't. You, you get what you you get the advertised and what you pay for and you don't have to worry about it like this is not for you this is not for you or how about the people that are like Nvidia's keeping all the good chips for themselves oh I had I had dude I had some people in my uh in my discord and in my comments saying my last comparison video they're like yeah but the the 2080 ti you got a good sample on that one because it clocks to 2.2. You got a bad sample on the 38 because it only clocks to 2 gigahertz. Let me show you this. Alright. I'm going to show you just how stupid this entire notion of 3080 chip binning is. It it it, it seriously needs to stop. It's, it's getting out of hand here. But, but the Founders Edition has a better bin. It boots to tw 2,000 megahertz, 2,250 megahertz. That's, that's going to completely ruin my experience. Come on, people. Like, is this, is this really a thing? I, I'm more and more surprised by this community every day. Okay. Oops. I don't want this. All right. You can see here on my afterburner settings, the core clock that is locked at right now. So we got... Uh, let's go exclusive full 4k highest exclusive full screen apply 
Alright, yes. Alright. We are at 2000 megahertz locked on the 3080. 100 FPS. The GPU is at 88% load. This is probably drawing around 400 watts just to maintain this. Now, let's go to 2050. All right, 2050, 2040, we got one FPS. That's the difference between your bin, like your precious, precious quality bin. And now we're drawing 450 watts for that. All right, let's try, let's try 2.1 gigahertz. I'm actually going to let my card cool down a sec because it just gets so hot maintaining those clocks. Uh, let me just, I'm just going to, here, check this out. So I'm going to wait until this goes down to at least 40 so I can apply it. See, I already had these like pre-done. Like this one's 2 gigahertz. This one's 2050. This one's 2100. And uh, this one, I had to f to lock it at 2.1 two, uh, gigahertz. I had to actually pump it up to 0 0.75 millivolts, which... It actually hits the power limit once it gets too hot, but this draws well over 500 watts. But I just want to show you how ridiculous this entire notion of chip bidding actually is for 100 megahertz. Even if just, okay, let's just, let's, okay, watch this, watch this. All right. Tomb Raider. 2.1 gigahertz. Oh my god. 1 to 2 FPS in 4K. Like, just stop. Just, just stop already. Just, just, just stop. Just, it, it's, that's enough. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do 1080p now, just as, just, I don't need, people are, just, I'll, just hashtag people, okay? Hashtag humans. That's, that's where we are today. Just too many... This is the age of whiners, people. Just the whining on Reddit is just out of bounds. It's just like, I don't know. I don't know. Just too many entitled humans in this planet, I think. Too many. Let's do 1080p. Let's see what happens here. Come on, Tomb Raider. You can load. We got this. All right. We're going to go... This will actually draw way less power, so it'll be easier to maintain, but 1080p, apply. Yes. Can you see it? Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we're using way less power now. Holy balls. This 1080p is awesome. So we're at 243 FPS right now at 2 gigahertz. Let's go to 2050. Profile 3, loaded. Back to Tomb Raider. What was it? 250 to something? I don't even know what it was, but it's this is the same. So we got 40 megahertz. Exact. It doesn't matter what resolution it's at. It's the, like, the end here does not scale with clock speed. Like, just enough already. Let's try 2100. Look at the power draw, though. It's so much less 1080p. Okay, profile four, loaded. Back to Tomb Raider. What do we get? We lost FPS. That doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, full screen. And it crashed. All right. Okay, well, hopefully I proved my point here because this... this if if you if you bought a 3080 and you're concerned about a a chip binning, you need to just not be into PC gaming. This is this hobby is not for you. 100 megahertz is a one to two FPS difference. Stop it with the binning. Stop it. You know what I think it is. I think it's just people are just upset or just like. There's just general outrage in general about this whole launch, and people are just grabbing at anything to complain. Just there's so much whining, just whining.
Back in my day, there was no whining. My day. Like, as if I'm, like, older than... Like, there was no whining. It was, figure it out. And if you can't figure it out, return it. Even if you get a Founder's Edition, and it is binned a bit better, and let's say you get 50 megahertz more out of it, like, that doesn't ruin the other guy's experience at all that bought the Zotac one. It's the... It's... It's 50 megahertz, dude. Like, it's it's fine. Just just enjoy your product. What's the problem? There's, like, this entire crusade to burn Zotac to the ground and, like, all these companies that didn't use those special capacitors because somebody doesn't want to clock down their GPU by 15 megahertz. Th this, this entire, com like, community and situation is blowing me away. Like, holy shit. Like... People need to relax. It's fine. Nothing is wrong. You, you bought a shitty model and you might have some shitty capacitors. Wait for a firmware update. Or clock it down yourself and just enjoy your card and play some games. What's the problem here? Here's some good general rules of thumb for you. Always wait six months after a product launches before you buy it if you are concerned about this kind of stuff. Turing had the GDDR6 problem, dead 2080Ti's. Uh, Zen 2 had the clock speed problem with the Agisa update. What else was there? Like, uh, Navi had the driver problems for eight months. Even six months wouldn't have been enough for that one. Um, Radeon 7 came out and the fan profiles didn't work. Overclocking was broken. The 3080 here has the capacitor thing, the boost clock. Power slider is broken on the EVGA models. Like, any product launch in history is always going to have some teething and broken shit for six months. If you don't like it, why are you on Reddit complaining about it? Just wait six months. Return your product. Be like, I'm going to stick with my 1080 Ti for another six months before all these problems are worked out. Like, why is that a bad option? Why is that even, like... Why are, like, what is it? What's going on here? Again, may maybe it's just me, but, like, this all seems so silly. Like, just to, just in general, just, like, how every product launch has so much whining associated to it. Like, like there's just so much whining. Um, as I always say, never rely on anybody to take care of you except yourself. If you don't like the power limits on your card, shunt mod it, which is what I did. If you don't like the capacitor problem, solder more capacitors on yourself, which is actually I'm going to do a video on that one too, see if it makes a difference. But, um, or return the product and buy a better one. I don't want to touch my card. I don't want to have to do this. I don't, they literally have more expensive models to alleviate those concerns for you. Like that, it's like, uh, if the engineer says that, just return it and buy a better one because that seems logical and common sense, I, I think, doesn't it? And if you can't afford it, then maybe you shouldn't be buying it in the first place and complaining about it. Like, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's it for this one. I, I just had to get this off my chest because it was so ridiculous. It was... Yeah. <sighs> anyway, if you like the content, I mean, I'm sure somebody's going to like this content. But if you like it, hit that subscribe button. Uh, do all that YouTube SEO stuff for me. I'm always going to be slapping you people with the uh, hard truth and the facts and... The fact is this whole thing is completely unnecessary and it just goes to show again how just daft humans are in general and, and, and entitled. There's so much entitlement. Like, me, I want it, me. Like, this world that you live in and that you bore into doesn't owe you anything. Remember that.